Hey guys, I'm Willie Sandry. Today we're looking at dust collection mods on your bandsaw. So today we're working with the Laguna 1412 bandsaw, but if you have a steel frame bandsaw that looks like this, chances are these modifications will work for your saw as well. Here's how. The heart of the dust collection system is this two and a half inch port that attaches to the custom shroud. To pull that off, just open the lower door and the dust shroud will come right off. It's just attached by a pair of rare earth magnets. These are the three quarter inch variety from Rockler. And the dust port is just a common hardware store item from Rockler as well. It's a two and a half inch port. To reinstall the shroud, you do need to have the lower cabinet door open and just slip the shroud in place. Go ahead and close your door and you're ready to saw. So looking at the factory dust collection setup, this is where the lower four inch port comes in. And the lower port is divided by this metal piece that sits at an angle. Its function is to hold this little, little insert here. It's a plastic insert that comes factory with your Laguna saw. And this is a really nice feature. And we keep that in place all the time. What I didn't like is this large open spot on the lower side of the port. Basically it's trying to extract dust from the whole lower cabinet, but nothing's really sealed. So instead what I'm going to do is block off that lower side of the port and just increase air velocity and increase suction right in this area around the blade. And to do that, we just have this little plywood insert. It's got four magnets on the back, a little area recessed for a finger catch, and it's just going to install just like so. I will tell you these magnets grab really tight, so as long as you get it where you want it initially, that will stay right where you put it. It's never going to come off in use. The final part of the dust collection improvements is actually this piece of rigid foam that goes under the bandsaw table. That originally was a kneeler pad for working in your shop or garden and its job is to seal off the back side of the suction box. So we'll pull the table off the saw and have a good look at that. Okay so we've loosened up the trunnion knobs and removed those and we'll go ahead and remove the table off of the saw. Just comes straight up and off. Okay, so it was a little hard to tell what was going on until now we have the table removed and you can see things a little more clearly. But the suction box just inserts in place and this foam pad behind it functions to seal off the suction box so that any air that's going to draw into this compartment is going to come from the tabletop or this little slit that's available for air to pass here really reducing the airflow into this suction box effectively increases air velocity and does a great job at removing the sawdust from the gullets of the blade and it actually really keeps the lower guides clean as well as the lower cabinet being almost spotless. So if we pull that kneeler pad away you can see that it is tapered slightly. Uh, dimensions are listed below in the link to the Lumberjocks build. It's also got some partial recesses here. You just need to make some clearance so that it can sit over some of these bolt holes on the trunnion assembly. But I actually kind of like that because when you slide it in place it just indexes right on those bolt holes and you know it's in the right position. Um, the nice thing is you don't have to take off the table to put this in place. Just tip the table up a little bit. This pad will slide right in place and it doesn't impede anything. You'll leave this in for any 90 degree cuts, the only reason you'd have to take this out would be to angle the table backward. So it's pretty convenient that way. So here we get a pretty good look at how the dust collection piping is routed for the saw. We've got a single four inch line that comes to a Y. The four inch part of the Y continues on to the factory port. The smaller part of the Y is a two and a half inch line that feeds the two and a half inch stable gate and on up to the suction box. 
The entire system is controlled by a single metal blast gate from above and an IVAC remote. The new dust hose is controlled by a two and a half inch stable gate and that can effectively modulate the suction to the new dust box. But in practice, I find that I run it full wide open all the time. Instead of screwing the blast gate directly to the metal cabinet, I've actually just attached it to a small block of plywood, which in turn is held to the cabinet with magnets. Okay, so we'll do a little demonstration as to what type of suction and airflow you can develop around the suction box here. We've got a couple pieces of wood just to simulate the table being installed in that position. So we'll uh, get the dust collector going here and take a look. demonstration of the dust collection and the new setup. We'll let that blade spin down completely. Nice cut quality on these Laguna saws too. This is what I notice um, when I'm doing even resaw work or where there's a lot of material being removed, just a sprinkling of dust up on top of the saw. Uh, what's remarkable is how clean the cabinet stays and the fact that it's not spraying dust all over the shop. So. We'll open up the lower cabinet and give you a better look inside. Okay, we just finished a little resaw and I've been using the saw off and on. Haven't cleaned out the lower cabinet at all. And this is what you can expect with that new dust collection shroud. All right, thanks for watching on how to improve dust collection on your steel frame bandsaw. Head over to lumjocks.com or look for the links below. You'll find full construction details there to see if this is something you wanna try in your own shop. Thanks for watching.